Okay, how do you feel today, my friend? This is my time for interview. Interview my favorite teacher here in Target because she is, is my how to say I don't know how to expect uh, to show you my emotion right now because she's my really really favorite with me it's really special to me yes and hi Sheila hi John okay uh, good morning how do you feel today good morning I'm feeling great today how about you I'm so excited because right now I have some question to make a short interview with you because I want to make some uh, memory when I st study in Stuckett. Okay, I'm okay with questions guys, but I have question also. Is it difficult? No, of course not. Okay, yes. not difficult. So I love easy questions guys. Yes. So what's so, your question? Uh, okay, this is a question for you, Sheila. Um, do you teaching, do you enjoy teaching in Target? And tell me why. Okay. Thank you for that wonderful question. So I really enjoy teaching in Target and I think there's no need to ask because in this place we can see a very conducive place for learning. So we can see a uh, clean environment, uh, friendly teachers, friendly students and friendly staff. So that's the reason why I really enjoy teaching here. Okay. Hello, Sarah. Hi, Hi, John. How do you feel today? I'm good. So, I got some question for you because this is my last time, last week, I've been here. Okay. So, sure. okay, this is the first question. Mm -hmm. Do you enjoy teaching in Target and tell me why? Yes, of course. I love teaching and this is my profession and I want to help other people to know more knowledge and I can meet also different nationality here to know more uh, different culture and tradition yes mm, how do you design your lessons based on your student level is your way to teaching different for each level mm, actually I meet a lot of different nationality here like different also level for each student like for example um, low beginner or it's beginner okay so how do you motivate your student in your class? Oh, good question. Actually, I always motivate them, like I encourage them to study hard. I know it's hard, but I always say to them that don't stop, study, uh, don't stop studying and believe in yourself. Mm -hmm. And if others can do, why can't you, right? Yeah. Hello everyone. This is my greatest leader team. His name is Joseph and he's his class in vocabulary so I got a short interview with him uh, to talk about uh, how to can teach us uh, vocabulary okay you give a punishment to the student if they doesn't do their homework it depends on the students if the student is sensitive mm -hmm. so I think giving punishment is not a good idea but I had students before they are very open-minded so Sometimes I give punishments like butt spell or sometimes they I ask them to share a lesson that they have learned before so they will become a teacher for just five minutes in my class. Oh. So they can improve their uh, skills as well because they will be acting like teachers. Oh, I'm so excited with that. But And this is my favorite question. Uh, what's was the most unforgettable? memory you had with your student i have a lot actually but this one is the most unforgettable i have i had before um one student of mine told me and i mean he approached me and he said thank you and he was crying because he realized that he really improved a lot mm -hmm. and i was part of it because i was his teacher so that situation touched my heart and that is a situation that will prove or show us that being a teacher is not only about teaching but also touching lives oh you hear it everyone so come to target to get inside the class of joseph to how to learn vocabulary thank you so much thank, you, thank you, you okay wow oh